Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a new episode of When You're Delusional, You're Gonna Be On TikTok. I do hope you're gonna enjoy the video, so let's just get into it. Are you going for a broke guy or a rich guy? I mean, I'd prefer if they had money. So let's say you made 60k a year. How much do you want him to bring? At least 100. So why is it okay for him to settle for you? Because I <laughs> would do other stuff for him. Like? like cook and clean and buy him gifts and appreciate him and love him. So let's say you were making a hundred. How much should he bring? 120. But he couldn't bring 60. So what you're saying is, it doesn't matter who he is, how he is, how is he treating you, the respect that he's showing you, the love that he has for you, none of that matters as long as he has money. And the 20k is the difference between you dating him or not. If you make 100k and he's making 100k, that's 200k a year. Unless you want a luxury life, that's more than enough for the two of you to have a decent life. But you won't even consider that because of the 20k difference. I'm gonna try to give you the benefit of the doubt because you're young and you probably probably heard this crap all over TikTok or someplace else, but you need to wake up. Maybe take a look at the ones who said that before you and realize that they're all single. How old are you? 27. Has dating gotten easier for you? No. Why not? I feel like boys just like get stupid until they reach 30. So you think it's going to change magically in three years? No, but I think they like hit an age where like mature they're like okay maybe i should start treating women right under 27 they're like i mean i prefer yeah, not but I like want. if i could really it be that maybe him, these men are just going for a younger woman no, as so long as i was 39 year old and he was the same way he didn't believe in monogamy and he was like no i want to do whatever i want whenever i want was he pretty successful yeah so he was established yeah okay and you said, I don't think that should determine whether or not you should like feel a certain way about women or not. That's true. But well, he's 39, you're 27. I was 24 at the time. Oh. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter what you think. You like dating like boys and you like think they're like stupid. Yeah, I couldn't let that part go. Chances are if he was 39 and he was already established and successful, he was grinding through all his 20s. Now it is time to have fun. You had your fun in your 20s and I'm guessing you're still going for fun because you're dating boys, not men. And again, unfortunately, now it's his time. What do I rate him? Yeah. Out of what? He's going to win a 10. Nine? I don't know. What will you rate me? Hey, I follow you on TikTok and I like really like your personality. So an eight. Hey? Yeah. Uh, we both got a chance, bro. Hey, I, I now, hey, out of I these, out of me and him, who has more of a chance to you know meet your family? I don't know. I feel like it's pretty equal. I don't think. I feel like for different reasons, it's pretty. Yeah, equal. bro. It's like Sorry, the best lit right here. Hey, all right. Yeah. Oh, may the best man win. May the, the best man, man win. win. Well, hey, right. who could get a kiss right now from? Both. That damn. All right, go for it, bro. I can do the same. I'll kiss you. <gasps> you can have it, bro. Yeah, not after you just kiss the other guy. You can already tell who she liked better. Maybe because he's more of her type, or maybe because he's more famous than the other guy. But you can see from her body language that she didn't really wanted to kiss the first guy, and she almost grabbed the second guy so she can get her kiss. Unfortunately, you should have made your mind before. And shout out to him for not going for that kiss. That's what respecting yourself is all about. How does that make you feel that I don't want to kiss you? It just makes you a dumbass. Me? Yeah, you. How does that make me that? What do you mean? Why does it make me that for not kissing you? Because anyone here would. Really? Yeah, I bet. Watch this. All right, go get wait. a guy. Prove it to me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Will you kiss me for me? Oh man, twice in the same night? Yeah, I almost feel sorry for her. Almost. Social media, where you get your validation, is not real life. And you just got a lesson about how real life works.
So this lady's dream boyfriend list is going viral on Twitter for being absolutely ridiculous. But I decided to go through it and see if I made the cut. My dream boyfriend, six feet, yup. 300 to 500K total comp, nope. Um, I won't say if I make less or more than that. Uh, <laughs> very ambitious and driven, you know me. 27 to 33 years old, nope. Brown eyes, nope. Loves New York City, well, depends on the day. Was I assaulted on the subway that day? If not, then I mean, it's not bad. Really funny, but a bit weird. You know me, girl. Um, really kind, has a moral system. Nobody has that like me. Not a trust fund baby, self-made. I do not have a trust fund. Good taste, I have the best taste. Good listener and planner, we can work on it. Loves running and reading, I don't mind reading. Loves me a lot. Mm, I, that's a stretch. Nah, you think? That entire list is a stretch. 6 feet, 300 to 500k a year, 27 to 33 years old. How many guys she knows make that type of money at any age? Especially between 27 to 33. I'm guessing none. Every girl that works at Starbucks or pretend to be an influencer online thinks she's gonna find a guy like that. First of all, rich people run around rich people. And even if you've met one of those guys, he's gonna love you a lot? Come on now. He's not even gonna look your way twice. And even if he does, you're gonna do for one night. Nothing more than that. The influencer with 9,000 followers is going for the richest man in the world. You cannot make this up. Well, 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 do we remember this article? It's okay if you don't, I'll give you the quick rundown. In a nutshell, there was a fella on his TikTok live asking all of his female followers why they thought the rise of single men is going up. They give their reasons and he made an article about it. And then people flocked to TikTok to go, look, men, we've been trying to tell you this for ages. <laughs> it was the most flawed gotcha moment I've ever seen on this app. It was hilarious. However, turns out they eventually got round to asking the men. And what they said isn't so pretty. Dates feel more like a job interview. <laughs> A lot of the comments that they were saying was dating feels more like an interrogation than dating and it just seemed too much hassle. There's no romance anymore, is there? It's gone. It's gone. And just to add salt into the wound, there's people in there saying it's just easier to focus on my career and get a hookup once in a while because they're freely accessible. But let's think about this for a moment. These guys are living on their own, single, happily, Focusing on their career, raking in the money, and everything is on tap as and when they need it. Marriage rates are the lowest that they have ever been for like 70 odd years or something crazy like that. Strange that, isn't it? No, not really, unless you're that guy who wrote that article. Dating is more like a job interview? Well, we've just seen the list from earlier. You better be sure she's gonna ask all those questions on the first date, because she needs to make sure if she's wasting her time on you and all that crap. And she's gonna continue to be single, and more and more men will continue to say, nah, I'm not doing that again. But anyway, let me know what you guys think, because this is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.